just don't have a way to do it. I'm not sure I'm going to get two grooves in there. I might only get one. Well, I'm going to start my cutoff just to uh, give me a visual reference. Forty-five, perfect. Let the power feed face that off. Pretty good, got a flat surface. Come in and center drill it. Okay, the perfect bit for a six millimeter by one thread would be five millimeters. Closest, I don't own any metric picks. Closest American bit is a number eight, which is 199, and it measures uh, now 5.08, 5.07. So that's plenty good enough. And this gives us a 75% thread. for aluminum and plastics. Plenty deep enough of a hole. break the tap off. Just turn it all in by hand. Clear the chips. I think I'll finish this with a hand handle so I can feel the bottom. Got no air pressure up in the shop right now. Blast that out with brake clean. Got to be plenty of it threaded by now. Make 
make sure I got a, got a lead or take any burr off there. There we go. Just wanted to touch it. Don't want to really give up any contact area if I can avoid it. Got about 213. So we'll take a little off of that. Two o five. That's plenty good enough. I can see where I need some more cutoff tools. I'm cutting that at about twelve thousandths high. Yeah, about twelve thousandths. All I dare. Which means I'm not going to get very many cooling fins with the width of my cutoff tool. I need a really skinny one. I just don't have a way to do it. I'm not sure I'm going to get two grooves in there. I might only get one. Well, I'm going to start my cutoff just to uh, give me a visual reference. out here and see if I've got it in the middle. Mm, looks good, maybe just a touch high. Wow. I don't think realistically I've only got room for one groove because of the width of my cutoff tool here. Sure like to get two in there. I have to live with one. This increases the area quite a bit. For air to contact the aluminum and pull heat away. This is an eighth inch tool, I believe. What I really need here is a sixteenth inch tool. Wow. Didn't have my belt engaged. Knuckles here. Figure I better finish those edges before I take it out of there. Let's finish the cutoff. Bring in a ninety degree chamfering bit. Clean that up. All right, 
let's test the fit here. Wow, it seems tight. It's as if I should have drilled a little larger hole before I tapped it, like this is made for a 55% thread, not a 75% thread. Mm. Yeah, let's set it up and take a couple thou out of it. Still pretty tight. Alright, opening the uh, nut up ever so slightly, a few thou, did not solve the problem. So it's not like this is an over diameter shank that's undercut. Now when I put the factory nut on the tap, I mean look how easily the tap turns in it. It's, it's kind of sloppy on here. I think what's going on is um, this is out of tolerance somewhat. My thread is a lot closer than this mass-produced thread. Not that this is any kind of a high-quality tap or anything. I feel a little roughness here when I turn this on as if there's some, um, some problem in the threads here. But I can't see anything wrong with it. So, I don't know. There might be some micro flaw here that there's so much clearance in this nut that it doesn't really matter. I can turn it on now. I've uh, turned it on with the wrench, which didn't take a whole lot of force, and um, and run the tap back through it to get, and I got a few little micro shavings out of it. So, I think we're, I think we have a good part to use. Now remember, I don't have my uh, thermal uh, silicone thermal grease here so this isn't going to be my complete idea but my parts made and it's a step in the right direction wow uh, I've taken a die to this and I can't seem to get the die to start straight just by hand figuring there might be a burr in there that I could clean up and I don't have any more of these parts and another assembly with this part in it is a hundred bucks so I don't want to foul it up and I get to about right there and the die wants to cock over I think I need to leave well enough alone I have uh, used a thread pitch gauge 1.0 fits it perfect fits everything perfect Including my, uh, including my die, my tap. So, something going on here that's not ideal, but I think I've got an acceptable fit, and we can put it back together.